Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. Uh, I just want to recap about this particular case. We started with a bone level, uh, Strauman bone level, uh, where the periodontist placed the uh, implants a little off. They weren't really uh, dead on in the tooth position so we had like one and a quarter teeth in the interprox. So what I've done is um, I left off last time with the abutments that were made by my lab and the case fabricated but we had um, a little problem I want to say in the emergence profile area here. We had a little lip and I asked my lab to remove the lip and to polish this. So looks like they, th they did a pr fairly decent job for for the bicuspid and the molar. This one was uh, I think that was tooth number 30. This was 29 and um, let's see if this is uh, nope that goes with the other abutment. Here we are. So fairly decent adaptation. There was a little bit of a um, uh, air braided area in the saddle region and I took care of that and had them reglaze the case. So we're ready for try-in now. I'm going to see if I can film some of this for you in the mouth to so that you can get an idea what this looks like. Um, again just to go over our our issues. Uh, both abutments were custom made by hand by my lab and both crowns then fabricated. This one is the molar region with the ridge lap area and in the mouth we will be busy uh, showing you the cementation technique as we did on other uh, videos um, hoping that we gain retention and uh, resistance form from just the uh, overall square dimension of the contact areas uh, with a flat surface hopefully there won't be any rotational dislodging and uh, we'll rely heavily on our cement for the vertical retention in this case. All right, so there you have it. The case is ready for trying. We're just waiting on the patient right now, so it gives me a little time to, to film this for you. So let me uh, just show you again. Here are the custom abutments. Um, the modification of the crowns to give a modified ridge lap. So that's the tissue side interproximal and occlusal um, and then the abutments themselves are highly polished now in the right position and uh, without a lip All right, and it kind of mimics the solid model. Notice we have a solid model here without the gum tissue uh, just, just looking at this on a hard tissue model really does help uh, us visualize um, our work. The linguals have their normal cutouts so you can see how the abutments are seated all the way. And we always double check that. And so we're ready, ready to try it in. Any questions feel free to call in. Give us a comment. Dr. Jerry Cuomo, and uh, keep working with your labs and work with your periodontists. All right, take care. Bye-bye.